Hello everyone, my name is James Hobbs, and today I'm going to be playing Seven Days to Die. This is a new voxel zombie survival horror game made by the Fun Pimps. Uh, link to the game and everything I'm going to leave down below. Now, if you haven't heard of this game, uh, you need to. It is just freaking awesome. It's like Minecraft, Daisy, and Fallout. Like, all were having an orgy. And, you know, they were chilling with some berry, they were just banging it out, and this is the offspring. Would be seven days to die. Now, we've, we've all had some good times to some berry before, and this game is just proof of that. Uh, basically, the premise of it is, you know, you're dropped in this world, you have to survive, and there are zombies around. You know, we've been through this before, but they do such an awesome job at it. So today, I'm basically going to just be going through the first night, uh, just trying to get my bearings, get set up in this world. So right now, if you look, I'm punching down trees, which is something we're all familiar with. Uh, we had to do it in Minecraft too, but and it's basically the same premise too. You know, we're chopping down these trees to get sticks, because we need sticks in order to make, like, everything in this game. I can just collect all of these. Now, those zombies over there that you saw, those are just some of the few unique types that you're going to see in here. Those were <clears throat> actually naked if you looked, and there's all kinds of them in this world. Now, if you look here, the crafting system is actually really cool in this because it tells you over there on the side what you can make with the materials that you have. Now, it doesn't tell you how to do it. It just tells you, all right, well, I can make a wooden club, for example, out of the sticks that I had. And it'll show me the pattern, but it won't tell me how to do it. You kind of have to figure that part out on your own. Which I like that part. It's pretty cool, actually. All right, so since we are a fresh spawn in this, uh, we need to collect a few resources. Uh, sticks, scrap metal. Fuck, I guess I lost that. No, there it is. Okay, good. Uh, sticks, scrap metal. Well, really, it's wood. Wood, <laughs> scrap metal, uh, any food and water that we can find. All those are important. And hopefully, I'll find some find some food and water here pretty quick. Uh, but we actually spawned in a really good location. There is this building down towards the bottom right of the map that I'm going to be going towards, and it is just awesome there. There's weapons, there's everything. And hopefully I'll be able to make it down there in this playthrough. Now if you look over there on the right, you know, those are a few of the zombies that we'll see. Hopefully we can just kind of avoid them here, because they're more of an annoyance at this time, really. Because during the day, these zombies are just kind of docile, you know, they're pretty stupid, pretty slow. But as you'll see whenever it hits nighttime is whenever everything gets crazy in this. They get super fast, super strong, and during the nighttime is whenever we're basically gonna have to barricade ourselves in the room. And I know these chairs aren't going to do much good, but they will at least slow them down just a little bit. I kinda just put them here at all the entrances, just to be safe. Let's see what we got. Cobwebs. I have no idea what those are used for. I got some water, got some medicine. More water. More water. <laughs> More water. Alright, and it's empty. Seeds. And gotta go check the safe. Oh, sick and nasty. I got some weapons. Alright, let's see what we got here. We got a submachine gun and got a shotgun. Oh, we are golden now. And they're still being stupid over there, so we can just go around. Oh, actually, I need to go check on the roof real quick. And here's a good tip. If you ever see an air conditioner, just loot it. They're pretty much always guaranteed to have scrap metal in them. I'll see if I can destroy it here real quick. Yep, still trying. Okay, well, fuck that. I'll take my anger out on this. There we go, much better. And if I can just get down from here without killing myself. And we make a small break for it. And I am definitely heading in the right direction. Yeah, basically in the beginning it's kind of kind of boring, you know, because usually the zombies are pretty spread out. But it gives you enough time... Ooh, hit a little bit of lag there. It's just enough time for us to kind of get going. But a little bit more about this game. Um, they actually started a Kickstarter campaign for this. Their initial goal was like $200,000, and you know they were going to add a lot more to this and 
basically keep going from there. They got over $500,000 for this, which is just phenomenal. So it's going to be awesome to see what these guys are going to implement. You know, because, like, they have all these lists and everything. You know, there's going to be skill trees involved. Uh, there's already multiplayer in this, but we're going to see expanded a little bit. Actually, I've never tried this before. I wonder if this will work. This makes sense. Oh, yeah. Fucking genius. All right, anyway. Uh, we're going to see, like, a lot more stuff added to it, just more content. It's kind of the whole Minecraft thing. You know, they're starting out with just the basics and just build upon that. And which they're really looking for, you know, feedback from the community and everything, you know, stuff that we want to see. And they're already giving us some kind of updates in the future. Let's see if I can pop him real quick. Stop moving. Ah, damn it. There we go. Got him. Uh, one more. Yeah, I'll see what he's got on him. A book. A fucking book. Suck it. But they're gonna try to add more stuff into this, which is just, which is awesome. Yeah, you know, I love companies that you know kind of listen to their, listen to their fan base, kind of see what they want in the games. And that was actually wood. Don't really need it. We have enough to get a spy for right now. Oh, cloth. Actually, that's really important because we will need this in order to make torches later. Because we can hang up torches around our base, it'll actually slow down the zombies a little bit, and we'll be good to go from there. But uh, one of our subscribers actually bought me this game. Uh, he was awesome whenever he did it. He asked, you know, hey, is there, is there a game you're wanting to play? Anything I can buy you? And I was like, dude, I really want to get in on the alpha of uh, Seven Days to Die. He goes, oh, that guy, I got your back, bro. You know, I, I even offered him to, you know, like leave a link to his channel and everything. He's like, no, no, that's cool. Just make a playthrough series on this. He goes, I really want to watch you play this. So, all right. I mean, thank you. You know who you are. You're awesome. All right, yeah, what we got up here? I just got a few zombies. Those big hulking ones right there, those will actually shoot uh, venom and everything. That's well, more vomit. But uh, in the next update, they'll actually start melting blocks. So that's going to be interesting in having to kind of plan out your base and everything. Alright, let's see. We got some others here. Bam! 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 Right, and my god, look at that tits on that thing! Jesus Christ, those things are mesmerizing. Damn. Alright, anyway. Jeez. Uh, and as you notice, you know, those bigger guys, they, they take a couple of shots to get down. They're a little bit harder. Right? God, they're disgusting. Damn, even the... Damn, they're, all the women in this have... They're very buxom, I've noticed. Alright, awesome. Sleeping bags. Uh, these we will use later. Um, whenever you die in this game, you keep all of your items in your 1 through 9 slot down there on the hotbar. Well, actually, you lose all those. Sorry. You keep all of your items in your regular inventory. So that's kind of something to think about. Uh, oh, God. Okay. I'm always afraid of going in tight corridors like that. But uh, you'll, you'll lose all these items on 1 through 9, but yet you'll keep all the rest of that stuff. So, you know, you might want to keep a few backup weapons there and everything. But, looping back around with this, uh, wherever you set your sleeping bag at, that is your spawn point. Oh, sick, some food. So if I was to die, I would be spawned back there. And which, once we get to the base down here, I'll kind of show you how that works. But uh, I'm kind of planning on doing this as a kind of a hardcore mode. If I die... I really don't plan on keeping this series going, at least on this playthrough anyway. Uh, just kind of immersion breaking for me, but that's just that's just a personal choice. All right, well, for right now, we'll go ahead and we'll cut until I get to the base. So if anything happens in between, I'll go ahead and fill you guys back in. All right, see you at the base.